The Concordance Model and the Afterlife Afterlife Prediction, You Have Infinite Incarnations The Concordance Model, also known as the Lambda Cold Dark Matter or, Lambda CDM, model, is the most widely accepted cosmological model. It is therefore called the Standard Model of Cosmology. One assumption of this model is that the shape of the universe is flat. In other words, space has zero curvature. According to our best astronomical measurements the curvature of space omega sub k equals 0.000 plus or minus 0.005, so as best we can tell, it is zero. But there is a surprising consequence of flat space, it implies space is infinite. Not just infinite empty space, but infinite and filled with infinite stuff, infinite galaxies, infinite stars, and infinite worlds. The curvature of space is the 3D equivalent of the 2D curvature of a sphere's surface. The surface of a small sphere, like a marble or ping-pong ball is highly curved, it is easy for us to tell it is round. But the larger the sphere, the flatter its surface becomes. A basketball or beach ball is less curved than a marble. As spheres grow to the size of planets, the surface starts to look flat. Now imagine the sphere kept growing, until it was infinite in size. At that point its curvature would be zero. Its surface would be perfectly flat. The same is true of the curvature of space. If space is flat then space is infinite. Quote. Measurements of temperature and polarization anisotropy in the cosmic microwave background, CMB, have played a major role in establishing and sharpening the standard lambda CDM model of cosmology, a six-parameter model based on a flat universe, dominated by a cosmological constant, lambda, and cold dark matter, CDM, with initial Gaussian, adiabatic fluctuations seeded by inflation. End quote. Nine-year Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, WMAP, Observations Quote They say that the curvature of the universe is tightly constrained around zero. In other words, the most likely model is that the universe is flat. A flat universe would also be infinite, and their calculations are consistent with this too. End quote MIT Technology Review but even the idea that the universe is infinite leads to bizarre and unintuitive consequences for the afterlife. The concordance model's predictions for the afterlife. If the concordance model is correct and space goes on forever, then it is not just space that is infinite, you become infinite. Within infinite space exist infinite occurrences of the Milky Way galaxy, infinite occurrences of our solar system, infinite occurrences of Earth, and even infinite occurrences of you, exactly as you are now. Quote. The idea of such an alter ego seems strange and implausible, but it looks as if we will just have to live with it, because it is supported by astronomical observations. The simplest and most popular cosmological model today predicts that you have a twin in a galaxy about 10 to the 10 to the power of 28 meters from here. This distance is so large that it is beyond astronomical, but that does not make your doppelganger any less real. The estimate is derived from elementary probability and does not even assume speculative modern physics, merely that space is infinite, or at least sufficiently large, in size and almost uniformly filled with matter, as observations indicate. In infinite space, even the most unlikely events must take place somewhere. End quote. Max Tegmark cosmologist at MIT. Infinite space implies you have infinite bodies throughout the universe. We each have unlimited physical incarnations. If some misfortune were to kill you here and now, say a meteorite crashing down on you, you would nevertheless survive. You would survive through the lives of your other exact duplicates on distant Earths, otherwise identical except there, no meteorite fell. Since you can't experience those Earths where you die, you only experience those parts of the universe where you survive. The implication, you can't be killed, at least not everywhere. 
there will always be another version of you elsewhere who lives on. Perhaps one who experiences a miraculous cure, or other happenstance of fate. So while a doctor who examines a body can determine that body to be dead, no doctor can prove a person to be dead, not without proving that person has no other incarnations surviving elsewhere in reality. Whether or not the universe is infinite is an age-old question. It takes back at least 2,600 years with the Greek idea of the Aperon. Some 2,300 years ago, the Greek philosopher Epicurus argued for the principle of plenitude, the idea that given infinite space and matter, there ought to be infinite worlds, some like ours, others different. Quote. Furthermore, there are infinite worlds both like and unlike this world of ours. For the atoms being infinite in number, as was proved already, are born on far out into space. For those atoms, which are of such nature that a world could be created out of them or made by them, have not been used up either on one world or on a limited number of worlds, nor again on all the worlds which are alike, or on those which are different from these. So that there nowhere exists an obstacle to the infinite number of the worlds. End quote. Epicurus in letter to Herodotus, circa 300 BC. The idea of an infinite universe also appears in religious texts. It's found in the Indian religions of Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. And in the Chinese philosophies of Confucianism and Taoism. In Abrahamic religions, the idea appears in Gnosticism, Baha'i faith, Mormonism, and in the writings of Christian and Islamic theologians. Quote, it is established by evidence that there exists beyond the world a void without a terminal limit, and it is established as well by evidence that God Most High has power over all contingent beings. Therefore He the Most High has the power to create a thousand thousand worlds beyond this world. End quote. Faker Aldin al-Razi, 12th century Islamic theologian. Quote. Know thou of a truth that the worlds of God are countless in their number, and infinite in their range. None can reckon or comprehend them except God, the All-Knowing, the All-Wise. End quote. Baha Allah, founder of Baha'i Faith, in Tablet of Vafa. According to the concordance model, there are infinite worlds. Some like this one, others different. Therefore, should you die here, your life nevertheless continues elsewhere, right where it left off. So if the concordance model is true, you have infinite incarnations. Accordingly, from your own point of view, you survive any peril. For more on the concordance model, see, does space go on forever? And how big is the universe?